but man, this shit is taking fire right now. Travis Rudolph, his ex chick, took the stand yesterday, and I ain't gonna lie, I think she should be in jail. Y'all let me know. Do y'all think this chick should be in jail for everything that she put him through, everything that she put the men through, even though they had to be held accountable for themselves? Because this is wild. So we're gonna react to this TikTok that was made about this. So this is the woman who we're about to watch live, not even necessarily live, but evade on the stand. And this is Travis Rudolph. So this is what people say is the, you know, the precipice of how all the things and the events that happened that night began. So in this clip, to be fair, because I did cut up a little bit, he told his brother, hey, open the door, this bitch tripping. He called her a bitch, but is that enough to be attacked by this woman? Let's see. Boom, she attacks, she's attacking, she's mauling him. He's pushing her back, and I want you to remember this. His hands are up and pushing her back. Remember what she says later on in this clip. But he's restraining her. He ain't beating the dog shit out of her. I ain't seen him punch her. I see him holding her back, which I want men to do. I want you to just restrain her. He could have, boom, 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 former NFL player. Could have went crazy on him. Probably has a crazy, fast twitch muscle fiber. But he didn't do that. Holding her back, pushing her down. And let's say when this text message come up, he did slam her. She snuck him. Pushing her on the ground is the least of her words. But what did she do? She texts her brothers. Please go shoot his shit up. It's at 10, 15 p.m. And before that, you see the text message. It says, Travis is a dead man walking at 10, 14, which makes me believe maybe he they, they called each other at this time. And then that's when things get tricky. Because if you know what happens later when Travis shoots at them and they one of them dies, these text messages, if I'm a juror, stand your ground. It's in Florida. I'm standing my ground with my brother Travis. I ain't gonna lie to you. Isn't it true? And this is the woman two years later on the stand. True that you were the first person to become physically violent when Travis with Travis and not the other way around? No. Not at all? Something or show me something if you, I can't recall the exact steps of the moments. Question. Okay, so you were the first one to become physically violent with Travis, not the other way around. Answer, correct. Yes, I said correct. You remember that? Yes. So she said correct when she first got uh, questioned about it, but now she her memory is a little bit fuzzy. It's a little bit foggy. So anyways, if you don't want to read this, Dominique Jones texts her brother to shoot up his shit after learning of the football player's apparent infidelity during a break. During a break. An infidelity during a break. Although, this is the most important part, she was married. She got somebody killed, and she told her brother to shoot his shit up because he had infidelity, but she was married. Now, it doesn't specify she was going through separation. So I'm just giving her that little bit of bail. Maybe she's legally married, but she's separated. But regardless, she is the Black Widow that started these spiral of events. So you smashed his iPhone, not out of anger, but because you were hurt? Yes. Okay. And I didn't send my brothers to kill him. No, you just sent a text to go shoot up his shit, right? I, I didn't say shoot him. You sent it. How dumb can you be? I didn't say shoot him. If I tell somebody, hey, go shoot his shit up, right? And you go shoot his shit up. And he just happens to be in there. Or his baby be, is in there. Or his mom is in there. And they all get shot up. I didn't say shoot him. I just shoot his shit up. How dumb can she be on the stand? How is she not, a, after this all goes down, and hopefully Travis Rudolph gets uh, acquitted, walk free, because if he doesn't get acquitted, all you uh, Derek Chauvin, all you George Zimmerman supporters, we're going to know if y'all niggas is racist or not. Y'all should be marching y'all ass down there to Florida in behest of Travis Rudolph. Because if this ain't stand your ground, I don't know what is. Four dudes pulled up to your house. One of them having a gun, even though you don't know he has a gun at the time, but regardless, he had a gun. Then you got these text messages. You got everything going on. To me, that feels like a stand your ground thing. Anybody show up to you at 12, p 12 a.m., not p.m., a.m., with bad intentions, you should be ready to die, especially if you're ready to press me on some shit. That's how I see it. The text to go shoot up his shit, right? Correct. Let's tell the jury what the shit is. When you're angry, you say things. I'm sure everyone in this courtroom has said something when you're, I'm trying to speak. If you want me to answer your question, you have to let me answer your question. Well, if you were responsive to my question, I wouldn't have to. All right. Answer the question, please. Okay. Can you repeat your question? The question was shit. What does shit mean in the context of that text? Anything but him. Okay. So it could have been his brother? No. It could have been the house? Nothing violent toward a person. It could have been his mother. 
So d- did you want them to go shoot his car? Did you want them to shoot his TV? Like, did you want them to go in the house and say, I'm here to shoot your shit up. Not you, not your brother. I'm going to shoot your TV. Um, I'm going to shoot your shoes. I'm gonna, like, what did you want them to do? If you just let me go shoot they shit up, that means pretty much go spin a block and do a drive-by. It don't matter what get hit. I'm so curious if this woman will be held accountable for this. I'm not even going to lie to you. Mother's house, right? How does she not get I was upset and I, my adrenaline was running and I said something that I didn't mean. That's the bottom line of that. I didn't mean for him to do That's not a good excuse. There's plenty, millions, hundreds of thousands of brothers and sisters in prison now by split second decisions that they didn't mean, didn't want to happen, that are in prison right now. People die because of split second decisions they didn't want to happen. They ruin their lives because of split second decisions. That's not a good enough excuse. Do for my brothers to do any of that. That's when my brother left the house. He did not have a firearm on him. And they did say one of them did have a firearm and they threw it in the bushes. People say things when they're upset that they don't mean all the time. But since the situation has happened, it obviously blew up 20 times more. But I didn't necessarily mean for anything to happen to Travis, his family, his house or anything. It's like my, it was like my second home. I would not want anything to happen there. Oh, yeah. If I'm a juror. Oh, it was her second home. She didn't want she didn't want nothing to happen there. This isn't a woman scorned, is it? This isn't a bitter, some bitter chick who was married and then she was mad that Travis, uh, you know, maybe stepped on their affair they were having and told them to shoot the shit up. All right. And he never raised a hand and touched you, did he not? Yeah, he was raising his hand the whole time, like grabbing. How disingenuous can you be? He was raising his hand the whole time. When they say raising their hand to you, they mean like, I'm about to bitch slap you. That's what they mean when they say that. They don't mean you're trying to actively hit me and he's holding your hand from continuing to hit him. That's what she, that's what they're doing. They're holding you. I was yelling a little too bad. My, my bad. I was going crazy. It muted me automatically. But they don't mean, let me turn this down a little bit. They don't mean, was he holding your hands back? Like she just tried to insinuate. They mean like, is he about to, I'm about to beat your ass. That's what they're asking. This woman needs to be held accountable. You know, in places across the country, you can be held liable for pushing someone to death, right? There was a white girl. I don't remember if she got convicted or not, but I know she was on trial for telling somebody, kind of encouraging them to kill themselves. And they ended up killing themselves. She was held accountable. When you go commit a crime with people, and just you're the, just the driver, right? You, you agree to a crime. I agree to a bank robbery. And you're at the bank robbery, like, we're just going to steal the money. Someone kills somebody. Y'all can go down for murder. Wife and Lucci right now in Atlanta is charged with murder. Not for actually murdering somebody, but for his friend being murdered while they were committing a crime. He didn't murder his friend, but his friend was with him when they committed a crime and he died. So he's charged with his murder. So how could she not be charged with this young man's murder, although he needs to be held accountable as well for going and stepping to this man at 12 a.m. for this woman? How is she not held accountable? We got Trav, press prosecutors. You got this man on trial. And I get it. Him running out the house, slipping, flipping, and falling around with the AK and busting it 39 times. It looks bad. But I feel like most people can understand the sentiment of men approaching your home at this time. Your brother's there, your family there. You in fear of your life. If anybody stepped to your home at midnight on behest of, a, of not even just a woman, of anybody, for, for a violent action, this could have been a phone call. You would have came in the middle of the day. We could have met up for brunch. We could have loved a hip-hop this shit and just talked it over. Maybe, you know, I mean, y'all could have gotten a fight at, at that brunch spot, but to pull up to somebody's house at 12 a.m., that only spells to me violent intentions. So like I said, if Travis Rudolph, with everything we're seeing, all the evidence we've seen so far, and I've been watching a little bit of the trial. It's live right now. That's how I know it's in Florida because they love doing that shit live. If he's found guilty, the George Zimmerman stuff won't make sense to me, and the other brothers who have been let off for stand your ground situations will not make sense to me. Anybody who has stood up for George Zimmerman or stood up for Derek Chauvin or stood up for any police officer misconduct or stand your ground misconduct when it comes to a white man and a black person, they were so gung-ho about it. So I'm, cause I'm curious, and I am bringing race into this. If Travis Rudolph is found guilty with the circumstances that we are seeing play out right now, will they stump for him or will they not? So, I'm hoping the jury does the right thing. Like I said, this is this is more egregious than the Tory Lane shit, to be quite honest with you. This is way more egregious than Tory Lane's trial. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 1,100. We're going for 10K. 
Let's go. Are you fucking serious? You mean God believed in us and you play with this shit? Hmm. These motherfuckers don't believe in us and God did. Get your shit together, go fucking even harder because he believed. That's the shit I'm on. I tell everybody on my team, fucking God believe in us.